All right, good morning. So today is October 8th. Uh, we spent the last couple days doing work on the trailer and just kind of work in general. Um, so today we're waking up before sunrise to head out to the Colorado National Monument. Uh, we're gonna try to get some sunrise. It's looking a little overcast. Uh, so hopefully we get there before sunrise. It's starting to lighten up now. So we should be there in about 25 minutes or so. Made it to the top. Um, actually, I guess it's not really the top. Um, but last year, when we came up here, this was uh, was one of our favorites. It's Independence Monument. Absolutely beautiful. And yes, let's talk about Michelle. This whole area, Colorado National Monument, uh, everywhere we've gone is probably, probably one of the most underrated, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I don't think I'd ever heard of this one before. We literally stumbled upon it. We saw it on a map. Because we were supposed to be in Moab, but it was going to be a too long a day. We were exhausted. We saw that the campground was on a map, and we were like, cool, let's go. And then we got here, and we're like, wow, it's a lot of canyon. Yeah. And so, so we've actually never been to the Grand Canyon, um, but we're, we're expecting that it's going to be, you know, something similar to this, but maybe grander. Um, but we just, we love the Red Rocks. We love... Like the texture and the formations um, and how it was all created and Independence Rock. That's what it's called, right? Yep. No, Independence Monument. Um, what we found out last year is that people actually will go climb that on the 4th of July, right? On the 4th of July, they free climb it with yeah. a flag and a, like a whole flagpole, I think. Yeah. And they which, set it up up there. Which is super cool. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's make some coffee. coffee, some tea, uh, and then the sunrise. Do a little hiking.
Update on the furniture. Michelle, what have we done so far? We just got the um, the couch out, the reclining double couchy thing. Um, the one that was right there. Yeah. So we just got that out. There was a lot of pivoting, just like in Friends. Pivot. That's what we had to do a lot of through that little door. Um, but yeah. what we're going to go do now is we're going to go drop off the couch thing at Habitat for Humanity. And then if it's still open, we might have missed it. Um, then we're going to go back to that furniture warehouse we went to yesterday. We're going to pick up a couch. And we're also going to look at chair or um, uh, tables. Tomorrow the plan is load up the other couch because we don't have space for both of them with all this the way our rack setup is. Um, so tomorrow we'll load up the other couch and we will take that into town, drop it off, get the new chair. Phil's desk is arriving by general delivery tomorrow as well. That's the plan. All right. Drop the couch off at Habitat for Humanity. Starting at um, American Furniture Warehouse. Now we're going there. Proceed to North Avenue. Then Thank turn you. Right. I will. <laughs> okay, now you can pretend. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We bought a couch that's the same color as the carpet. Look at how hot. I think you got out. Rotation, rotate, rotate, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Good work, solid effort. Where'd you go? Why well, can't, there's, there's a cat tree here. All right, update. We got chair. And on the other side is the desk. So that means <laughs> it's time to get this bad boy out. So we've already taken out the back. We tried to figure out if we could get it out without taking it apart, but we couldn't. So we took off the back. Now we're going to take off the sides. There's, I believe, just two screws on each one. So here goes nothing, I guess. Let's hope. So it's been a constant debate as to whether or not what we're doing makes us trailer trash. Michelle, what are your thoughts? Um, well, considering we have a couch and three pieces outside on our uh, campsite bench, picnic yeah. table, might look a little trashy, but... Um, but on the bright side, we found a sock. Okay, update. We have the chair installed. Michelle is working on the desk. So there's the chair. Um, right now it's pushed as far into the corner as it can be just to give us a little bit of room. Um, but it'll be pulled out. It is a, a glide, a swivel, 
and a rock. <laughs> so we're pretty excited about that. Um, Michelle's working away on the desk. The cats are panicking a little bit. Let's let's see if let's see if we can show you hops. Her face was right in there. Hoppy. <laughs> Here she is. She wants out. Should we let him out? Yeah, but I need your help with the part. Okay. I'm gonna let him out. What chaos have you brought into my home? And then let's help Michelle. We're done with Colorado. For now, for now, we'll be back. Um, so we're all packed up, cats are packed up, trailer's packed up, we're taking off. Uh, we're heading to Moab and Arches for, I don't know, like a week? About, yeah. We've kind of slated just under two weeks for the Moab Canyonlands area. So uh, we don't really have exact plans about where we're, what we're gonna spend where, yeah. but um, yeah. So we're, we're excited to go back to Utah, explore that area again. Uh, and this is gonna be the first time that we're actually like boondocking. Yeah, it'll be our first boon real boondocking experience. Besides, I guess like Tetons, because yeah. we didn't have any hookups there. But that was an yeah, actual- Yeah, but that was a campground. That was, yeah, that's the difference. That was a campground. We'll be yeah. staying on BLM land this time. Which we're really excited about because we spent a lot of money on solar and batteries, and let's hope that uh, it comes through for us. So, we're really excited. Come along on the journey with us.